what's happening? So I usually don't wear sunglasses, but today I decided to wear them because I wanted to feel special. Not that anyone cares, but yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, there is so much going on in North Carolina today. We got the Hot Sauce Festival in Oxford. We got the Winston-Salem North Carolina Food Truck Festival in Winston. We got the Folk Festival in Greensboro. Now you have the NC Sugar Rush Festival, which is where I'm at today. Ladies and gentlemen, there's about 20 plus vendors here with a lot of sweets, and we're gonna try some. That's it. All right, yo, you come with me, come on. So first we're gonna be trying, looks like it's this food truck, Rejoice, not just icing, looks like they specialize in cookie dough and ice cream. All right, what do you guys specialize in? We specialize in cookie dough and ice cream. What is the top seller here? Chocolate chip cookie dough and vanilla ice cream. Ah, okay. This is your second day? Yes. How are you liking it so far? It's really good, I like it. That's what's up. Thanks, appreciate Enjoy. it. So I just sat down, I got this chocolate chip cookie dough and vanilla icing from not just ice and make sure you guys follow them on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. And I'm really eager to see how this tastes because I've never had cookie dough with ice cream. And this thing melted fast. Got to give me a big old piece right here. Oh, mm. Okay, so the cookie dough complements the vanilla and it makes it just a little bit sweeter. I mean, for $7, they give you a lot of freaking ice cream. I am just gonna ask for anything more. I'm just really amazed because with just plain cookie dough with ice cream, I wouldn't have expected it to be this good because it's plain cookie dough. Isn't that like bad for you or something? A brain freeze. Ah! So if you're looking for something different, looking for something sweet, if you're looking for something that's gonna complement the vanilla ice cream, they did a pretty damn good job on this, man. The cookie dough and the vanilla ice cream is really good. So, if you guys watch Magic School Bus as a kid, you'll know what I'm talking about right now. It's a bus over here that's called Snowy Shaved Ice. Actually, right there. Yeah, we're gonna definitely try that out right now. All right, so this is, what's the Snowy Shaved Ice? Snowy Shaved Ice. So for people that don't know what Shaved Ice is, let them know what it is or how it's made. So Shaved Ice is made from a couple different options. We have cubed ice, which is like regular food. Cube ice comes in the bag sometimes, yeah. or, or block shaved ice, which we have a block shaved ice maker it makes ice about this big in a block, and it put it into a shaver, and it comes out into snow. Hence the name Snow is shaved ice. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, yeah. So what is the best seller here? The best seller here, I would say, is actually one of my favorites that I always recommend: strawberry and a pina colada mix. Everybody yeah. likes shaved ice. They like pina colada, they like strawberry. They like that combination. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so just in case you guys didn't know, oh, she almost hit me, she almost hit me. But just in case you guys didn't know, this is uh, ice that's shaved down into snow. This is strawberry and uh, pina colada. I ain't got nowhere to sit, so we're gonna try it right. We're gonna actually try it right here. Oh, so for those that's never had shaved ice, I got, of course, the strawberry and pina colada, and it's like flavored ice. It really puts you in the mind of like you're eating snow with like strawberry pina colada flavoring. But I think I did myself a disjustice because I did not put enough strawberry on him. Shame on me. Man, I tell you, if you're looking for something that's just like snow, it's nice and soft. It's not like ice cubes where it's like crunchy. It's soft, just like snow. Now, this right here may sound weird, but when you chew it, it's actually kind of chewy too. And if you've never had shaved ice, Hit up Snowy Shaved Ice in Durham, Kalana. You definitely be amazed, man. This right here is definitely a masterpiece. Yo, <laughs> I'm only laughing because if I tried that, I've been to slice my damn throat off. So we're gonna go into this shed, right? Cause this is a girl with pretty purple hair and uh, I think she's selling gift cards, something like that. I'm gonna let her explain it to you because it's pretty cool. Hey, I'm Michelle, Michelle Renee Stationery, and this is my assistant, Marissa. I make greeting cards, handmade greeting cards, high quality, use of my photography, or some repurposed cards that are made out of sheet music, maps, novels, comics, anything that's repurposed. I'm trying to inspire everybody to write and leave tangible memories. We can be on it. Thank 
Thank you so much, ladies. Thanks. Yeah, I figured I'd play with the kids a little bit. But uh, anyway, so we here got uh, homemade keto chocolate brownie from Keto Cafe. So I love the way she's very detailed about this. So she has the net weight being at five ounces and she has the carbs being at three grams. For those that are wondering about keto, I went on keto about, let's say about a year ago and I lost 40 pounds. Damn. It's definitely the way to go if you want to lose a lot of weight really fast. Despite what people say, it's, uh, it's unhealthy. It'll get that weight down, I assure you. Damn. For the keto brownies, they are very light and they're not sweet like the regular brown. But it's definitely a lot more chocolatey, but I think that's because of the dark chocolate chips that's made with. But it is made with sugar, cocoa powder, almond flour, bacon powder, dark chocolate, dark chocolate chips, eggs, vanilla extract, sour cream, and butter. The only thing I will say about this is that if you never had keto brownies or this particular keto brownie, it does leave a weird aftertaste, but it's not bad. I mean, it's definitely pretty good. Key thing to this right here is, is that it got three grams of carbs in it. So that means this right here ain't number six little funky ass carbs. So shout out to the lady at Keto Cafe that made these right here. You're doing an awesome job. Keep up the great work and um, I'll definitely be back for more. Also, I'm going to say about these too, they are really freaking soft. Usually with brownies around the edges, they're kind of like hard and kind of tough. It's soft all around the edges. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go back to where I was, which was right there. Y'all working hard or hardly working? Both. Ah, <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Hey, doggy. Hey. Come here. Come here. Such a small doggy. Come here, come here, come here. This right here is some serious. All right, so this is the final destination. Uh, I think I, that was called Tropical Delight. And old buddy just gave me this right here. I don't even know what this is called. I think he said the, I'm not gonna try to remember what he said it's called, but. It has strawberries, pineapple, and I do not know what else is in here. Let's just dive in. My God. Oh my goodness, oh my damn, oh my goodness, they go in hand. <laughs> uh, Chop good delight, y'all did y'all thing on this one, man. What, okay, so I'm gonna tell you what I taste. I definitely taste the strawberry, I taste the pineapple, and it's some type of tropical blend. Let me grab a straw and get to the bottom. I taste uh, strawberry, pineapple, and at the bottom, I'm not mistaken, pina colada. This thing is super duper sweet. So if you cannot take the sugar, do not order this. Oh, but if you can, you will not be disappointed. This right here was $13 from Tropical Delight. I'm just speechless right now. And I think it's because they mix so many different flavors and it actually worked out. This is definitely something you should definitely give them Tropical Delight. Boy, I'm telling you, y'all better be glad I ain't got no alcohol around here. <laughs> All right, man, I'm about to be up out of here, man. Shout out to all the food trucks out here at the NC Sugar Rush. I appreciate y'all. Y'all out here grinding, making that money. Keep doing what you do. <laughs> you a funny dude. I watch your stuff, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. I appreciate it, bro. Thanks a lot. Dude said I was funny, which I don't think I am, or am I? Shout out to all my supporters that's been supporting me for the past year. You guys are the real MVP.